everyone, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had an incredible week. Um, we're doing something a little bit different today. I asked on Instagram stories just to double check and 93% of you were like, film the hell out of this. So that's exactly what we're doing. Um, Mark and I have been meaning to clear out our loft for months. Um, we're like, next weekend we clear out our loft and then we never do. So we thought, we'll finally get round to it and it kind of ties in quite well with topics that I cover in An Edited Life, my book, which you can pre-order now. I'll pop the link for it down below. Um, but yeah, I just thought over the next couple of months I'll do a few sort of An Edited Life, more organisation-based videos and pop them up as a little series for you. So this is the first one. When Mark and I were looking for flats, we kind of fell in love with this one, not only for the space and the fact that it was a bit of a doer-upper and we could add value and blah, 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 um, it had a loft that we were allowed to use for storage, we have access to it, and that is just absolutely golden. We didn't have that in our previous flat. In our previous flat, we literally had kind of like a cupboard that had a washing machine in, a couple of shelves above it, and that was it. So we sort of had to use that. So the fact that we have this storage space is absolutely amazing. We know that we're very lucky to have it. But when you do have it, it fills up with shit pretty quickly. Like I said in my previous video, it's like Monica's secret cupboard up there. Mark doesn't think it's as bad as I think it is, but I feel like we could just do a quick sort through. I feel like there's definitely some things that we could get rid of. I feel like I actually have a couple of things I want to put up there, which defeats the whole purpose of this video, but I thought I would take you along for the ride. So we'll show you the before now. Okay, so here is what we are working with. And we're really lucky with the space. We can stand up in it. Um, there is a lot of space, but I mean, look at it. Oh my God. See, I think this is worse than I thought it was. What? This section here is Mark's like secret woodworking toolbox section. Yeah, this this is out of bounds for me. This is his little section. I mean, oh yeah, this is my bike. It's very distinct. Um, we've got some bits at the back, my chair from my office, which I just love. And I'm sure if ever we move, I'll take that with us. A massive mirror that was too big for our wall. But again, we're keeping that up here. Some random shit in the corner that was here when we moved in and we can't be asked to move. Um, and then, yeah. I mean, you're right, a lot of this stuff is in boxes. So at least it's being protected and that's a good thing. There's definitely way too many suitcases. I mean, how many is that? One, two, three, four, seven. five, six, yeah, seven, no, too much. And then a lot of these things are things that we get out quite often. Like this is our extra bedding for when people come around. Like it's all sealed up, don't worry about it. This is the wood for the What's it called? The wood burner downstairs. So I feel like there's there's a lot of things that need to stay here, but there's also a couple of things that we could sort through. What do you think step one is? The suitcases are the big thing. Okay. Just get those down. And yeah. Suitcases was actually surprisingly easy. Mark's just taking one down now, we're getting rid of another two. Um, we've actually got some friends that want these, so they're going to a good home. I had loads of really crap ski stuff that I bought one time when I went skiing about four years ago, and I just haven't been since. Um, so again, we'll find a good home for these, we'll pass them on. So it means we're just keeping the away one, the horizon one, and again, the horizon one, the away one. So we've each got a big one, and a small one. Um, I also have a small one downstairs, the one that matches this as well, which has all my kind of travel bits in. Okay, this stuff is all stuff we need. It's the stuff for the wood burner, bedding, um, that is a sleeping bag that's got like a duvet on it. These are stuff that Mark needs for work quite often. So now we're gonna start working through all of these big old tubs. Yeah, I think a lot of these we got from Ikea. They're just so handy, so kind of gonna work back. And I feel like it just needs tidying up actually more than decluttering, but I reckon there's some things in these that we can definitely get rid of. We've opened up a massive box. This one's on wheels, which is kind of fun. Um, this one is definitely Ikea because of the label. It's got two massive sleeping bags from when Mark and I did our sleep out event, a little sleeping bag that's Mark's. Some of your bags, you're a real bag person. Love and, bags. <laughs> and then we found this one had Mark's Lego and a model aeroplane in that Mark wants to make. So he's gonna make this his kind of like extras box. And then we're gonna make a box with the rest of our camping stuff, our walking boots and sticks. And um, I've got like a little mini hiking bag. So that's gonna go in that one. So everything is easy to find, but I'd say this bit is looking better already. Was it really hard for you not to say Mark's shit box? Um, yeah, it was really hard. <laughs> Change of plan. Uh, this is now the outdoorsy box that has all of our like walking boots, sleeping bags. Oh, and it's on, I just love that it's on wheels. Go on, can you, can you demonstrate? 
Uh, the old bag's really super handy. Though. Yeah, we like that. And also, you know what's a really another really cool thing about the IKEA boxes? Go and do a sell. So they are like like paper, like A4, A5, A6. They fit in each other. So that one fits there, the same size, double them. Hashtag not sponsored by IKEA, but it should be. Hey IKEA, if you're looking. <laughs> so now we've like freed up two things basically. And we found these, these are um, advent calendars that Mark's mum got for us that we're now gonna add to Christmas the box. Christmas box. Cause everyone has the Christmas box, which is full of all your Christmas shit. We're considering getting rid of the picnic hamper, yeah, it's which- kind of cool and cute though, it? It's so cute. Um, I think I got my first like proper paycheck from like a YouTube job or something and I went a bit mad in Sean Lewis and I bought a picnic hamper which we have never used. Have we ever used it? We should really have used it, shouldn't we? It's beautiful. Oh, that can go to a good home for sure. But um, I mean, it's got like a cheese board and everything. Um, yeah, this was a bit of an outrageous purchase. Definitely needs to go to a better home. Just what you got there? That looks like a Chanel bag. You got another Chanel bag that you've been hiding from me. <laughs> opened up the weirdest box. First of all, a selfie stick for a GoPro, which I've maybe used once about three years ago. Like, it's time for this to go. And then I opened up this bag and I was like, oh, a little Chanel bag that some press samples must have came in. I wonder what's in there. Oh wait, golden willy straws. Golden willy straws, <laughs> what the hell are we doing in here? Why did I keep golden willy straws? I can imagine it's that they're from from my... your Hendy bag. I know they're from the Hendy, um, and they're really veiny and gross. But I know that we kept them. <laughs> they, are, they are gross. Veiny and gross. They are veiny and gross. I feel like we kept them because we were like, oh, when someone else gets married, we can use the stuff that's in here. But I feel like that's a bit. That's gross. That's a bit gross. Maybe we didn't use these. I'm just not 100% sure. I feel like um, it's probably a bit grim to keep mm. woolly straws in your dusty loft and then use them again. So I will take this lovely bag and maybe someone will want the bag. Bag's nice. Bag's nice. Bag's nice, straws. like a little nice, like little like utility bag for somebody, you know. Yeah, I'm sure someone could find a use for that. Um, but the willy straws. And then who knows what's in this? So you go pro stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. GoPro stuff. Oh my god, old hard drives. No idea. What, what do you do with old hard drives? I'll be, I'll be. I'm going to have a little look through this. I actually managed to clear out that whole box. Um, all that camera stuff, it was just old GoPros and old vlogging camera. The hard drives, I just, I have no idea what's even on them and I don't think I need what's on them. So Mark's gonna take them and maybe he'll use them um, and all of the camera stuff I'll give away to friends if they want it. Um, so now we have a free box. Um, but in here, I'm gonna pop, this is Christmas stuff, like everyone has. Christmas stuff. I'm gonna pop that in there. I'm gonna pop these advent calendar things on there And um, this is all Christmas stuff as well So I'm gonna pop the lid on that and this is our Christmas tree And um, so I think the last thing to go through is just that box at the back Okay, Mark is having a clear up of like his side with all of the tools and god knows what else he's got up there um, But this is the only other box from the other side to go through and this is perhaps my favourite box. And whenever it comes to this box, when we're doing a clear out, I have to like take it to a side and just look through everything. And because it's just my, my sentimental box, it's things that I just can't get rid of. I know I'm very anti hoarder and I'm like a very organised, edited lifestyle, but I love sentimental things. They just get me right there every single time. And this box is completely full of them. So I kind of just want to go through. Make sure there's nothing I can get rid of. I really don't think there is, um, but just sort of show you what I hold on to. Okay, so I've taken everything out and let's start at the bottom. And actually I was quite impressed by how organized this box was. It's just like an old um, cardboard box. And in here I've just got like the mini sort of trinkets and bits and bobs. Um, I have my Life in the Trenches project that I did back in well, probably like year nine or something. And my grandma is really sentimental too and holds on to a lot of like records and photos and letters. And we found, I think we found a letter, the letter that my great, great grandma got to say that my great, great granddad had died in the war, which was like super intense, but amazing that she still has it. And I got a level seven for that project. And that project, it just has a special place in my heart. I have to keep it. Um, a Spice Girls. <laughs> unofficial annual. I just remember, I mean, I read through this so much. Oh look, 
and a Gardner 2W. Oh my god, a Spice World ticket stub. The 5th of the 1st, 98. Um, here I've got like letters and cards. Um, Mark is lovely and basically hand makes me a birthday card every single year. So let's see if I can find you a good one. Oh yeah, I like that one that had David Dickinson on. Have a real deal birthday. But I have some new ones to add. So this is why I wanted to get this down. Oh, this one is from this year. This is a photo from Madrid. So I wanted to throw that in. I've got some cards from people that I wanted to add in. Some photos. My friend asking me if I could be her bridesmaid. Um, this is a lovely card. Um, I've got lots of photos in here as well. I guess I could put these in an album. Maybe I'll think about that. They're kind of random though. And there's ones like, that was Buster. Uh, that was Sweep. That's Thumper. I don't know if there's City in here. What? You should put those in an album. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Shall I leave them down to put in an album? Yeah, why don't yeah. you not put them in an album? Oh my God, look at this photo of me. There's loads more in there as well. Megan, me and Dad. That's class. Is that not so funny? Oh, the babies, look at that. Me and my dad and my sister. Yeah, I quite classic. Your black free. Yeah. Definitely keep them. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these down. Oh look, the Empire State Building experience. And they're kind of random, they're from me literally being born to, oh, <laughs> oh, that's my grandma and granddad. This is such a cute one of my grandma and granddad. I love that one. Um, so they're kind of a bit random, but Mark is right. I should practice what I preach and I will make the into an album and then I can enjoy them more. Oh, that one time I did a 10K. Probably will never do that again, so I'm gonna keep that medal. My first ever pair of shoes. They're from Clarks, they're adorable. Got my old Blackberry, because I just think it's funny to look back on. I've got my old iPod, like the really, really big one, uh, the black one. I thought that was so cheap at the time. Um, I'm gonna pop those in here and then I think that was kind of everything that was in the box. So I like that, I like it's like a little, sentimental memory box of things that it's just really fun to look back on um, but yeah I think it's a good idea to put those photos in an album. This is a pillow that my nanny made and it's just nice and you know what I want to have it out and enjoy it so I'm gonna find a home for that. I feel like maybe in my office that could go quite nicely so gonna keep that out. These are two tapestries that she did and um, that again I'm gonna pop in like the frame basket that we've got there so we can try and find a new home for it and um, this is something my nanny was really good at embroidery and tapestries and that kind of thing she was more into like sewing my grandma also does that she's really good at knitting as you can tell from this little teddy bear that she knitted me with his own little sleeping bag this is just so cute and i'm like one day if we have kids like i feel like they would love that toy i know that i really loved it when i was younger so i hold on to that but she is so good at painting and she painted this for i think i either had it on my door i had it in my room all these disney characters and then my name like she is so so creative my grandma i love that um this is my cosmo blog award from 2011 and when this happened i just thought this was like the greatest thing that was ever going to happen in my life for me i had no idea what would happen next and that life was just going to go down this crazy 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 route um, but i just always smile when i look back at that because that night was just such a cool night they had a really good goodie bag and i was just so excited about the goodie bag um i have Three items of clothing, which feels kind of random given my capsule wardrobe. I don't like to hold on to clothing that I'm not wearing. However, these three dresses really mean a lot to me. They're all from Topshop and they all were worn for like big occasions. So this is what I wore on my 18th birthday. Kind of like poofy out skirt at the bottom. And then this, like, what is this? Like a metallic gold corset i mean there is no way i would fit in this right now or ever again but i just think they're really fun to have and who knows one day if i have a daughter or a granddaughter or even just like a niece maybe they'll want a vintage piece of top shop who knows sorry if you can hear anything going on, on upstairs it's mark moving stuff around and um, this is again from top shop this i wore on my 21st birthday so that was my 18th birthday this is my 21st. I mean, look at it, look how slinky. I just thought this was so cool. It had all this sort of embellishment on it. It was very like Cheryl Cole. And then this dress, again from Topshop, I mean, very, very creased. Um, but just a really gorgeous dress. I, I would still wear this now. This I wore on my graduation day. So I feel like it's a little trio of dresses that just show where my head was at and where my style was at in all of those times. Then I've got my university Paul's jumper and then my University of Nottingham jumper which I just can never get rid of those 
Um, so I feel like I've added a couple of bits in. I've got my photos out to put them into an album, got my pool pottery out, got my pillow out, and then also got the tapestries out because I think these could work really nicely on a wall somewhere. So um, yeah, let's pop this back up. We'll see where Mark's at and I'll give you the after of clearing out our loft, kind of. More just tidying it up. I will insert the before for you here so you can see what it looks like before and see what it looks like now. So this is the after and I think Mark's done a very good job of just consolidating some stuff down. And um, one day, hopefully we'll have a garden and we'll have a shed and all of this shit can go in there. We sort of did a bit of tidying at the back. My sentimental box is down there, Christmas bits are at the back. We've actually managed to clear a whole almost two of these clear tubs out, which is great. We've got the outdoorsy tub there, got our suitcases there, and then this is all of our bedding and our wood burner bits. So when you look back, that just feels a little bit more organised. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. We decluttered a decent amount, I think. So that is it, and it only took us an hour. I'm quite impressed. We thought that would take at least two. Um, now Mark is very kindly going to make... What are you making, like raspberry pancakey things? Pancakes. Yes absolutely delicious cannot wait but thank you so much for watching if you want to pre-order my book which is all about organization i'll make sure that is linked down below for you and um, but yeah more to come let us know what part of our home you would like us to declutter slash tidy slash go through every single thing we own <laughs> on camera with you and i will do that very soon um, but thank you for watching and i'll see you then bye